Okay, I'm back. Oh, today I'm going to be talking about the goblin. The goblin sucked. Obviously, I played the goblin. Um, oh man, the goblin wore me out. The costume was exhausting. Let's start with the costume. The mask I made, I found just a big, uh, a big witch mask at a store, you know, just, it was like 10 bucks. It was like, a, I think it was like an orange face or, or purple face or something weird. So, okay. And it had like this long, crazy hair. So basically I just cut out everything I had to, to just keep it about, you know, to where it could go over my head, all that. But then my mouth could show. I really wanted kind of like on a, you know, certain fantasy style, scary, creepy, weird movies. They usually have, you know, troll type people where you can still see their mouths, but they're kind of creepy looking. That's what I was kind of trying to pull off there. The mask though, like, yeah, I just painted it green. I got some burgundy-ish uh, fabric, made the whole hat thing, made the gloves, made the vest. I basically just got some tidy whities and spray painted them burgundy for the, the underwear over the tights, the boots. That, oh man, that costume was such a piece of crap. I'm not a seamstress guy. I don't know how to sew things together. I, I really literally piece things together the best I could. I had to take the leggings. I, I put the leggings up on one by one. I didn't have actual tights that I pulled on, that would have been a lot easier. But I mean, I was pinching pennies on everything possible. So I would put on the underwear and then I would put on one legging and I would have to freaking uh, safety pin all around my leg. So keep that one up, get the next one, safety pin, that one all the way up. And then the boots was basically just a nightmare. It was basically just uh, a sheet wrapped around like a boot and I got some of the, the sticky sticker type Velcro and just used that and basically I would just Velcro it and it kind of worked out, it looked pointy at the, at the toes. The gloves, I just bought some normal, you know, just some normal big oversized uh, gardening gloves or just something that was just really plain, spray painted those. Spray paint was my friend during Peter's Web. I, I spray painted everything. I had so many, I had a whole, I've never really needed spray paint for anything, but I had a whole crate of just different spray paints and stuff at the end of this. But anyway, oh man, the shirt, oh God, the shirt was horrible. It was basically like, I had to construct the shirt. I don't know why I didn't just go buy a long sleeve spandex shirt for that. It was just, I made his costume in the very, very beginning, along with the hero's costume, so I don't know what I was thinking. It, it was basically like like a, a shirt bra thing for the sleeves um, with the green tights, put on the gloves, put a vest on over that, put the, the sash thing and the bag and all that, and then the little belt is basically just a strip of the same fabric. It fell apart all the time. It was painful. It was literally painful. It hurt around my my uh, my growing air growing area. You know, it hurt around there on my legs. It hurt in my armpits because I remember that it was really really tight but heavy fabric for the vest and this and all, everything. And it was all paper clip or not paper clip. The uh, safety pin together. It was painful. I hated that thing. And then I had to put on the mask and I duct taped the mask to my face. And so then I had to put on this green, I always just carried around a little container um, in his bag that he keeps his bombs and stuff. I kept a, a, a small thing of green paint that I had to mix green with a little bit of black to get that darker color. And I just always would just have to wipe it on. Uh, oh man, that character I had so much trouble with and I got so hurt with like physically I'll share a quick story. This is the number one story for the Goblin. Well, other than when I lost my mind the last shot ever. I have a video of that. I'll post it someday if I ever get the time to find it where I'm just like, 
I take off the mask, and I know that I, I forget the camera's even on. I'm just talking about how much I hated the character, and I'm so glad I don't have to do it no more. And but then, I think I had to film in it later on anyway, which sucked. Anyway, okay, so there's a shot. I wanted to do a reverse effect to make him look like he was gonna jump onto his glider and then come up and rise. So I was about this big in the shot. And I want it to be like, you know, so it physically showed me going up. This is before I even started green screening or anything like that. Oh God, so we took a bunch of crates, like big wooden pallet, pallet type deals. Or I guess pallets, wood pallets. Stacked it up. I mean, this thing was probably 12 pallets high. It was enormous. Like, it seemed not too high. Maybe as tall as like a refrigerator, maybe a little taller because I just wanted to, in the shot, basically, I was gonna have to jump off of it. I had the, the uh, his glider strapped and taped to my feet. I was at the top of this giant thing. So I just imagine in, in a, I guess, contrast perspective, just imagine if I'm this big, like these are my legs, like the crates were about, or the pallets were about, this high so standing up with my head and my visions up here it's even higher because that's another like five feet nine inches ten inches higher on top of that and i was just like oh my god i can't believe i'm gonna jump off of this because we wanted it if i jumped off and landed because i've been skateboarding you know i have like 12 15 years of skateboarding experience so it wasn't that scary i've jumped out down big flights of stairs, ollie down those, done different things. So stunts wasn't a big deal. This was my first big stunt though. So all I had to do was jump down and then land and then just try to absorb the shock. Even if I went down and put my hands down, it would have looked kind of cool. So then I would have been like, and it would have had that realistic look, not green screen, but just like, whoa, how did he do that? You know, that's kind of cool. Oh, <laughs> so I'm on top of those pallets and I'm ready to go. And so I'm just like, the three count, my buddies are filming. And so I do this one, two, three. And basically I try to jump, but the, the glider stuck to the pallet. <laughs> and I just flew off of that thing. No, nothing on my feet. I, it was, I, I might as well just like, went like this and jumped off like face first, you know, or like right on my side. So boom, I hit the ground and I'm just like, oh my God. And I turn, I hear something right away. It's just classic. I turn around and all the pallets are about to fall on top of me. 10 giant wood pallets. Just, so it's just like, huh, claw, ah, and then, and I barely missed it. Like I kind of like scooted myself back as fast as I could. I would have been hurt. You know, I would have messed up. Those things just crash. And then, uh basically that's the funniest story with the goblin I mean my buddy I'm sure he still remembers it oh and there's just so many times I got hurt as the goblin like that was a close call but I've gotten hurt as a goblin I mean there's so much it's, it was just a mess all the blood I'm constantly I hated the goblin I hated doing him I could not stand him it was fun playing him I mean just to be that out of control and act like that crazy and to do the voice and stuff but he was a, a he was tough he was tough to, to really do and to do throughout the entire series because then Harry becomes a goblin so then it's more goblin um, but yeah that's that's all I really want to say about the goblin if you have more questions about it yeah shoot it to me but the goblin sucked sucked bad but yeah I could have gotten hurt but I didn't but anyway Crazy Roger King, subscribe if you're not subscribed already watching this. Um, I'd appreciate it. And you guys just, I'm going to be here next week again with another character, another little confession of Peter's Web. Um, and so I'll see you. Oh, there's a call, so i got to take that. So I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.